What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this next question, what we have to do is take this graph here, notice it's an exponential function, and we have to find the exponential equation from it. Now, when you're given a question like this, the exponential equation, you can always put in this format over here, y equals a, something in front, b to the power of x plus c. Now, personally, the first thing that I like to look for is the c value, because the c value, it's always going to be what? The horizontal asymptote of an exponential function. So sometimes you got to look at the graph and see what value it's approaching. And notice that in this case, we can be confident that it's approaching that y value of negative one from this side over here, right? So we know the c value in this case is gonna be negative one. Now what we have to find is the a and the b value. And what you wanna do is pick some points and notice that we have two points. I made these pretty obvious on the graph. Sometimes they're not gonna be obvious. Sometimes you're gonna to have to look for these kinds of points. They're not gonna be shaded in like this. But in this case, they are. Notice that this point here is zero and two. This point here is one and five. And so what you can do is plug both of those in into this, what we have here, and see what happens. So starting with the zero and two, Notice that the y value is two, and then the x value is zero, and we have the minus one. So we'd have two equals a. Now what's b to the power of zero? That's just one. And then we have a minus one. We can bring the minus one over. Two plus one would give us three. a times one is just a. And so notice that we get the a value. So the a value is three, and now we just have to solve for the b value, and we could do that with the other point, one and five. So we would have the y value would be um, five, and then the x value would be one. And then we got the minus one there. So what would happen here? Bring the minus one over, five plus one would give us six, three b to the power of one is just b, divide both sides by three. B would, e, uh, B would be 2. And so we have the full equation. So y equals a value is 3, the b value is 2, and then we'd have minus 1. 